Ron Lancaster with the Maple Ridge Pitt Meadows School District. We're happy today to have the BC Mining Association here with a number of presenters talking about mining careers to our students. We're hoping today's session will give other students around the province an opportunity to see what mining careers are like and what opportunities are out there. My name is Jessica Banning. I am a junior environmental scientist. I work mostly with permitting for mining projects. I work for EBA Engineering. So I am really, really new to mining. Um, I also just graduated from university about two months ago. So if you have any questions about school or anything like that, let me know. Um, but yeah, I'm from the Lower Mainland originally. I went to BCIT when I first graduated high school. And I did a fish, wildlife, and recreation program there. We actually came out here a lot to the woodlot and spent a lot of time out there. Um, we also went to Highland Valley Copper Mine as one of our field trips, which was awesome. Um, but yeah, I didn't really know exactly what I wanted to do, I just knew I liked being outside and I really liked marine biology, that was my main focus. Um, so I did a lot of traveling in between, once I was done at BCIT I went to Australia and I worked with the tiger sharks and sea turtles and stingrays and we did a whole bunch of research projects on them and so that was awesome and then I went to New Zealand and we studied dolphins and how they interact with people. So, and then I came back, wanted to finish my degree. So I did it really quickly. With a diploma, you can do a program at Royal Roads, which is a one-year program, and you get your degree done um, really fast. So it wasn't stretched out over um, a couple of years. Anyway, so yeah, I've just graduated, and I've just started with EBA, and I'm really new to mining, and I'm learning a lot. Every day I'm learning more, and I'll talk to you a little bit about what it is that I know. So this is just a little quick run-through of what I'll be talking about today just why we mine, mining in the environments, some of the regulatory bodies that we use to make sure that it's environmentally friendly, um, some of the services that uh, are offered at the office that I work at, and then if you have any questions, let me know. So just first off, um, I wanted to talk about some of the environmental impacts that mining has on our ecosystems. Um, the biggest one uh, is called acid mine drainage. And this is something I hadn't heard about until I went to school. And um, what it is basically is uh, when you mine, you're exposing ore or metal that was originally buried underground. Um, so when you expose it, it comes in contact with oxygen and water, and that creates acid. So we don't want acid in our ecosystems, especially aquatic ecosystems. They can kill the fish um, and the plants and everything that lives in these areas. So we want to try and keep that to a minimum. Um, the other issue is habitat disturbance. So in some of the pictures that you've seen in the previous presentations, there are huge mining projects out there. Um, so obviously there's going to be some sort of disturbance that goes on. Um, and so our goal is to kind of reduce that. Um, and then also greenhouse gas emissions. I kind of threw this in there. I mean, I guess in the whole process, there's greenhouse gas emissions going on. Um, a lot of them come from coal mining and when you're processing coal, you release a lot into the atmosphere. So with all these um, potential environmental consequences, why are we mining and why are we continuing this in our environments? Um, it's because society demands it. it. Everything that we rely on today r relies on mining. So who here has a cell phone? Pretty much the whole class. Who here has a computer at home? Okay, so all of the metals, everything that goes into all of our machinery here comes from mining. We need it. Um, if you're into cars or snowboarding or anything like that um, requires metal. If you ever have to be in the hospital, any sort of medical equipment requires metals. So, so it's for these reasons, these mining incidents, that we have to regulate them. And uh, that's kind of where my job comes into play. And I'm working within all these regulations 
There's a BC Environmental Assessment Act and a Canadian Environmental Assessment Act, and it sets standards and has permits that mining companies have to abide by in order to um, conduct their work. So uh, yeah, it brings the two, um, depending on the project, the two have to work together, the federal and the provincial government. Um, and it takes into consideration all the parties involved. So it's not just the environment, but the people living there as well, and all the different cultural aspects. So if there's First Nations people in the area, they consider that as well. Um, so this here is just a quick outline of what EBA offers in terms of environmental um, services. And so this is, these are the kinds of things that I would participate in. Right now, my, this is one of the first things that I'm doing is a socioeconomic assessment on a project, it's a gravel road running from Tuktiaktik to Inuvit, um, way up north. But uh, yeah, all of these things are kind of necessary for these different projects and need to happen for permits and things like that. Um, and it's not just, there's um, technologists involved and data collection and all sorts of things. Anyways. So, any questions? Going to university like, um, it was a lot of fun. I uh, met a lot of great people and a lot of good contacts for the future. Um, it was a lot of work, for sure. You kind of put your life on hold. I was lucky. Um, the program that I was in at school was only a year. So because I'd done the diploma program at BCIT, they, um, the program takes that diploma and puts it towards your degree. And then you go to school for 12 months from September till September and then you graduate with a degree. So it was, they basically put two years of university in one, so that was crazy, busy, but really good. Was there so. any parties? <laughs> yep, there were lots of parties. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> well, nice oh, it's all right, yeah. Does the environment recover after mining operation closes? Well, um, the mining companies are required to return it to its, its natural state, but in some cases when you see those big mines, I, I don't know if you can ever really return it to the state that it was in, but you can return it to a, a healthy state. It's really surprising and amazing the progress that you can make with a site, um, but yeah, a lot of work and goes into it, but eventually it can recover. Jobs in mining, rock. Rock. Rock.